Copilot has been helping developers in GitHub. Why not Power Apps? Copilot for Power Apps is here. Type what's on your mind and get a Dataverse table, an app, and even sample data. I was excited for a demo from Clay, and then this happened. The how easy it is is I'm not even gonna demo it today. You what? are going to demo it. All right, let's take this thing for a spin. Welcome to PowerCat Live. My name is Phil Topters from the PowerCat team, and today we're here with Clay. Hey, Clay. Hi, Phil. So you've brought something brand new for us to see? I have. Just this week, Copilot in Power Apps, bringing the power of AI to makers and users. We're very excited. So it's, a, it's amazing to see GPT-3 finally coming to Power Apps. Phil, Phil, Phil. It has been <laughs> in Power Apps for two years. We are coming back up on our two-year two anniversary. Uh, so in May of 2021, we released Power Apps Ideas, which uses the GPT-3 model to allow you to write natural language and create a formula. We then released Express Design, which allows you to use an image or Figma and build an app. Now we're bringing natural language all the way through to an app. So this has been something we've been working with for a long time. What we're really excited about today is the productivity gains and ease of use that this will bring to a first time maker. So we've already, I've seen all the excitement about GPT-3. What's new about bringing it to Power Apps? So what you would have seen is a lot of the public models working with chat GPT. The stuff that you're gonna play with today is actually bringing it directly into Power Apps to do two main things. The first, make makers way more productive. And wow. then the second part is how we bring that to users so you can actually add your own app copilot into your app that can answer questions about data for you. So how easy is this? I can just like shout out to Power Apps and tell it what I want it to build? You, this, the how easy it is, is I'm not even gonna demo it today. You what? are going to demo it. Okay. Uh, That's so, how easy it is. So I just come here and I just tell it the app I want. Yeah. Open up Power Apps, All tell right. it what app you wanna build. Uh, so I was just talking with a customer, they were building an equipment tracking app. So, uh, so let's build that. In those descriptions, you can be as detailed or as brief as you want. One of the real interesting things that we've seen is people can come in, some people are really brief, they say equipment tracking. Some people say, hey, I would really like, and they're very polite to the bot. <laughs> Do I have to be polite to the AI or is it okay? You, 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 should, you should be polite to the copilot, but no, you, you don't have to. You can be as brief as you would be, like. Okay. I'll try to be kind to it. So this is, this is cool. So it generated uh, some sample data so I can kind of get a feel for how this is going to look in Dataverse. It first of all interpreted that natural language. It then used sources from the internet to create a base schema. So it said you want the ID, you want the name, you want equipment. It then also generated some sample data on top of that we mapped that to our data types and it's given you a preview as here in the first step. And I see that it looks like it's taking advantage of data first here. Like this is a real auto number column. Yeah, so we've actually mapped the schema that we get back uh, from Copilot directly into those data types that we have from Dataverse. Um, so as you'll see, they go through, we make that first mapping. You can actually now ask it for some changes if you'd like as well. So let's uh, let's have it just add uh, an employee number. So employee numbers are eight digits, we'll say. Yep, you can ask it for exactly what you wanna do just in natural language. It's nice to have a few rows of sample data too. Can I, can I more? You can, just, just ask it, Phil. You don't have to ask me to ask Copilot. Clay, can you I have can more? ask the Copilot directly. <laughs> okay. Uh, make more sample data, please. please. Because you coach me to be polite. It'll, it'll appreciate that. One thing we've learned, honestly, is the best thing to do is ask it. And the worst thing I can do is come back and say, sorry, I don't know how to do that or I can't do that for some reason. Now I noticed, I noticed here that it did equipment as a text column. It should probably be a choice. So you're saying I just ask it? You just ask it, Phil. You don't have to start again. You can just ask it exactly what changes you want it to make. Make, it, make equipment a choice column. Oh, so that's pretty cool. All right, so here I can see now equipment has become a choice column. Yeah. So, and so I just build the app then, just click create app. Click create app. What it's gonna go do now is create that table for you in Dataverse and build an app on top of it. And while nothing you did was particularly complex, think about A, the number of clicks and steps that you saved yourself just by asking 
uh, the co-pilot to do it for you, but also for first time makers who might be building their first app, they've been able to come in here, use a really simple description and get an, a table data created and an app generated on top of it. Okay. Okay. So here's my app, but I'm not looking at my app. I'm looking at, uh, at what GPT. You're looking at a modern intelligent app. Clear. are you implying that of my app and me, only one of us is modern and intelligent? <laughs> you're, you're doing okay, but your app is really <laughs> impressive. Fair. okay. And so based on just your, your prompt you started with and those instructions, you've actually created a couple of things. One, a, a traditional app that you're familiar with is still actually there. It's just on the second screen. But what you've got on this first screen is the app Copilot. So this is that same conversational power, but built into your app for you so that you can now ask questions about the data within your app. So I can ask it a question about my uh, data. So let's ask this first one it's suggesting. What is the most popular equipment item that is checked out? That's pretty cool. Yeah. And, and the cool part about this is this isn't just like a public chat API that you're asking information, like general information about the internet. This is actually connected and using the data that you have within your app. So just like in Power Apps, how you can connect a data source to a table or a form or a gallery, now you can also connect it to the app Copilot and get this power of conversation over your data. So we have to look at the app that it built then. So let's take a look at that. And so it looks like uh, basically everything I usually have a three screen app for, but all in one screen. I've got a list of all the data. I can view each record and edit and create. Yeah, we took an opportunity here to make a few other updates to our app template as well. So yes, people would know and love the traditional three screen app. We've now updated this with a more modern look. It's actually a fully responsive app that can do the same things. You can still filter over data, view your records, create and edit as well. Oh, but response. you've got that now in a single responsive screen that'll run on the web or on mobile. So this app copilot control is really cool. Can I add this to an app that I've already got? Absolutely. So we start off, we add it to the homepage by default, but you can actually get them then to add in other parts of your apps or other apps that you've built. Right now we're in preview, so you do need to go into the settings, preview features, and turn it on. Once you've done that, you'll see it in the input menu to add into your app like any other control. And this is like just a regular power app, so I can start extending on this and, and building it out from here. What we've really done is used, you know what I mean, the co-pilot to get you started way, way quicker, remove a lot of those tasks that you would have had to do manually, like creating your table, adding extra fields, getting sample data to work in while you're developing, and land you into a richer template with intelligence and conversation built into it. Now, as you would normally do as a maker, you can go continue to extend this, add more to it, and make it a richer app. Now, you mentioned this is reading my company's data. Uh, my company's data is special to me, right? How do, I, how do I trust this? Yeah. So a great resource, you know what I mean, particularly across all of Microsoft, is a lot of our responsible AI and privacy content. Um, we take, you know what I mean, privacy, particularly when it comes to AI, very, very seriously. Um, so it's the best resource to kind of understand across the Microsoft ecosystem how we approach data and how we approach it when it comes to AI. So this is coming out now. Uh, can anyone just jump in and use it? We're starting to roll it out now. Um, we have a wait list that we're rolling out as well. Um, so we'll start onboarding. <laughs> we'll start onboarding people as soon as we can. Um, but we'll start rolling it out to customers as they join that wait list and express interest. Um, so the biggest ask I can make of people is get your name on that wait list so we know you're interested and we can get you in to use these co-pilot capabilities as soon as possible. If there's someone that I would like to bump at the top of the waitlist, can I just ask the bot? Because you told me I should just ask the bot whatever I wanted. You can ask the bot anything. I don't know how helpful it's going to be in this particular scenario, but please, you can ask. Okay, I'll try it. Clay, thanks so much for being here. This is an amazing feature and it's fun to play with it. Thank you, Phil. Thank you for having me. <laughs> right, I think we're good. Welcome to PowerCat Live! Mm -hmm.